hello and welcome to azure wala youtube channel we are in part 90 of microsoft certified associate series so far we have completed 155 questions in previous videos today we are going to look into question number 156 and question 157 question 156 you have an Azure subscription that contains a virtual machine named VM1. You need to backup VM1. The solution must ensure that backups are stored across three availability zones in primary region. Which three actions should you perform in sequence? To understand it better, let's go learn.microsoft.com we are on create and configure a recovery service vault page in documentation site we'll scroll down so first action we'll take is we'll create a recovery service vault and these are the steps we will follow we don't have to go in the detail here Second step would be that we will set a storage redundancy. And we will be using zone redundant. After the creation of the recovery service vault, we will be creating a backup policy. So we will switch to another page. So the third step would be that we will configure a backup policy etc let's go back to question therefore first action would be we will be creating a recovery service vault the second action would be that we will be setting the replication to zone redundant storage so this will be the second action since we are looking for three availability zones here and the last action would be that for the virtual machine one we will create a backup policy and configure the backup let's move to next question question 157 you have an azure subscription and subscription one you have 5 tb of data that you need to transfer to subscription 1 you plan to use an azure import export job what can you use is the destination of imported data to answer this uh, let's understand what storage services are supported by import job the imported data by azure import job can be stored into azure blob storage account or is your file storage account and it will support the block blobs and page blobs are supported and files are supported in this case in our question is your file storage is available as an option therefore it will be the correct one and is your export supports is your blob storage and it can be exported from block blobs page blobs and append blobs and for the export azure files are not supported let's move back to question now we know that azure import job supports azure blob storage and azure file storage services is destination of the data and from the given choices the option b is given to us which is the azure file storage would be the correct answer and rest of the answers are incorrect i hope this video was informative for you please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon thank you for watching this video see you in next video